Okay, this video is going to be a review of a new 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter receiver system from Foxtech FPV. This is a new system that's designed to um, work on pretty much every frequency that 5.8 gigahertz transmits on. I don't know if, um, if you guys use 5.8 gigahertz, you know, you know that different manufacturers use a different band of frequencies. Um, so as a result, if you have a pair of Fat Shark goggles with a 5.8 gigahertz receiver built into it, you have to use a Fat Shark or an Immersion RC uh, video transmitter that uses the correct frequencies that the Fat Shark receiver uses. Um, the cool thing about this system is it works with Fat Sharks, it works with its receiver, it works with uh, virtually any other 5.8 gigahertz receiver out there on the market right now. 32 channels, I think it's four bands. The uh, video transmitter that comes with this unit is a 600 milliwatt. Um, so let's take a quick look inside. I, I'm not a big fan of these uh, unboxing vi videos. But, so I'm just gonna quickly show you what comes in the box here. Um, got a little pamphlet of instructions that shows you all the frequencies, how to set it all up. We got a video receiver right here, which is the RC832. Um, it's got a digital display on it for changing frequencies and channels right here, which is kind of cool. And the 600 milliwatt video transmitter, very nicely made uh, setup here. 5.8, 32 channel, TS832. Again, uh, looks like little buttons on here for changing the frequency, so you don't have to fiddle with all the little dip switches and all that good stuff. Um, it's wrapped in some clear heat shrink so you can see um, what's going on here. And uh, a couple of your standard regular little 5.8 gigahertz whip antennas. And some cables. Let's see what kind of cables we have here. It looks like we have a main receiver. No, a main. looks like we have a video transmitter cable here. One cable plugs into the transmitter, and it looks like we've got power and video. Here we've got a power cable with a JST plug on it that will plug into your video receiver. And we've got the video cable that plugs in. Now, um, like many of these other video receivers, it's got uh, an AV out one and two, so two video outs really really nice to have so you can plug one into your uh, video monitor and another into your DVR for recording so you don't have to have a video splitter and all of that mess makes a nice little compact unit so that's basically what you get in the box uh, very nice looking system I'm excited I'm really excited for another video transmitter that works with fat shark goggles and so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try this system in uh, probably my Skywalker. I'm going to see what kind of range we get with the little whip antennas on here and see what we can do as far as video transmissions, uh, dis uh, as far as video transmission distance. I'm going to see how this receiver compares to the Fat Shark receiver. Um, in my limited experience with 5.8, it seems like these receivers are a whole lot more sensitive and get a much better uh, range than the little receiver and the Fat Shark goggles. And I'm going to test that out. Looking forward to doing that. I'm going to go ahead and install this on my Skywalker and we'll go from there. Okay, the first thing I wanted to note is that it was really nice and refreshing to take this system out of the box, lay it out, install it in the plane, and have all the connectors already on the wires so I didn't have to solder anything on. It uses JSTs for power. It uses uh, regular servo connections. So it was a, a really refreshing thing to, to see something like this with all the wiring already ready to go. Now the next thing to note is I'm making this flight with the regular omnidirectional whip antennas. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't use the same antenna plug K, uh, connection that the Fat Shark uses, so I was not able to use my circular polarized antennas. But I will tell you 
that I was more than impressed with the range that I got uh, with the omnidirectional antennas on this system. I was able to fly out two kilometers um, at a couple, at three, four hundred uh, meters high. And while the video is a little um, spotty, uh, it, it still got a signal, perfectly flyable, so I was really impressed with the range. Now following this flight, I changed the uh, frequency on the video transmitter to match one that the uh, Fat Shark goggles could receive directly. And I uh, made a couple of flights, and as I suspected, uh, I started getting a lot of glitching at about a kilometer out, so I didn't get near about the range with the uh, Fat Shark receiver as I got with the uh, receiver that came with this particular system. And I've noticed that on a couple of other occasions as well. I think it's the sensitivity of the Fat Shark receivers, you know, a little bit less than uh, what you might expect with some other receivers. So to sum up, I'd like to thank the kind folks at Foxtech FPV for sponsoring this review video and turning me on to this awesome 5.8 gigahertz uh, FPV system. Um, I appreciate their support and I will say that I like this system so much that I've already purchased another video transmitter for my quadcopter and more than likely I will be purchasing at least one or two more. Uh, you really can't beat the compatibility. Uh, the transmitter works with the um, Fat Shark goggles. The receiver, which is a really nice receiver, works with all of my other 5.8 gigahertz transmitters. So you just can't beat it. So um, it, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we'll see you next time.